Hello, my beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. I am High Priestess Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is the preview to your mid July 2018 love and romance reading. If you would like to view the full version of your reading, you can do so on my Vimeo page. The link to your Libra reading will be at the top of the description box below. You can also check out my Vimeo page at vimeo.com slash powerlifehypnosis to view all of the mid-July readings as they are posted. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website powerlifehypnosis.com. If you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, including when, where you'll meet this person, the month and the day, what this person looks like, how to recognize your partner, your partner's sign, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with the happiest and healthiest relationship with your future long-term romantic partner, you can now book a future partner reading with me through the description box below. You can also book an extended future partner reading with me, as well as a 10, 20, 30, or 45 minute reading. Again, all in the description box below so you can check out those details. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me anytime through the free Instant Go app. And the link for that is instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. The links to my website, my Instant Go, and of course the links to book a future partner reading now are in the description box below. Alrighty, so my lovely Libras, let's go ahead and get into the preview for your mid-July reading. Of course, again, if you would like to view the full version, you can do so at my Vimeo page. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope that all uh, is well with you all at this time. So Libras, I have here three cards representing the overall theme of your love life during the ending portion of July. I have here three five card spreads uh, and actually some other spreads with a little bit more than five cards and I also have here your extended prediction here for the month or the ending of the month with my prediction cards and finally I have here all your guidance and I did get some new cards so I have all of your guidance in order to learn how to use your free will in the most positive way to bring about the best outcome in your love life during the ending portion of July. So let's get into this. Uh, regarding the theme, I have here three cards. And one card I do have here, which is wonderful, is a card of anxiety. Nevertheless, this card came up here in the reverse. So that is excellent. This is card number 18, so signifying endings here. And this anxiety card says, Libras, that many of you may have been experiencing some of course anxieties maybe some depression maybe some sleepless nights maybe some worries about a romantic connection that you have or about your love life in general nevertheless during the ending portion of July it looks like this anxiety will be ending you know melting away you'll be releasing this anxiety due to the circumstances that are going to occur so that is very very wonderful okay so regarding your first prediction the foundation of this situation i see that some of you are going to be taking a really big chance a really big chance in your love life can you guys see that you're going to be rolling the dice in your romantic relationships during the any portion of july roll the dice this love is a game of chance playing for keeps is anyone's luck and this may be regarding somebody who's been missing you somebody who's been thinking of you i do see that there has been some patience required in this situation or some timing some extended timing present in this situation so i do have again that full prediction in the extended version of this reading let's go ahead and get a little bit into this kipper prediction so in the past I have here this main person card and this is the main person female card and then I have here this success in love card so to me this is signifying that some of you in the past could have been very in love with somebody um, it could be that for some of you this love relationship ended for some of you this can be that there was a um, very positive or good relationship in the past I do have here something unexpected coming up in this situation so of course 
that will be in the extended version of this reading with your Lenormand prediction here so I see that some of you could be dealing with an air sign Libra Gemini or Aquarius and this is Sun Moon or rising or maybe even Venus but these details may not resonate with you guys, some of you, because this is a general reading. This is for every every Libra in the world. Not every Libra is dating the same exact type of person. So again, it looks like some of you could be dealing with a air sign here. If not that, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Pisces, um, a Leo, or perhaps a Scorpio. Okay, some of you may be dealing with somebody who may have dark hair, or this could even be somebody who may have um, some kind of spots, stretch marks, wounds, birthmarks, tattoos, scars, anything like that. Um, the rest of the description will, of course, be in the extended version on Vimeo. So, I see that some of you may have had some worries about a relationship, again, some anxiety about a relationship, but I do see that there will be a light at the end of the tunnel here. Yes. Yes. All right. Of course, I have more information here, which will be in the extended version. So, let's go a little bit into what I have here with my prediction cards and this is a very extended spread that I have in front of me so I'm using my personal prediction cards here and regarding the background of this situation leading up to now I do see that some of you were in a relationship where there may have been some slow movement in this situation, maybe attempting to have something deeper, a deeper connection, maybe move forward with this person. But I do see here that there were some misunderstandings and some miscommunications in this situation. And it could be because of a third party situation. So either you, Libra, were in a third party situation or you could have been dealing with somebody who was in a third party situation. It looks like this third party situation may have caused some setbacks in this relationship um, in the past it looks like there may have been improvements that came to this situation or maybe improvements that came near mental health maybe that's why these anxieties are going away but there are excuse me some type of uh, there was some type of improvement from this small setback and it may have been due to um, creating distance between you and this person so you may have put distance in between you and this person this person may have put distance in between you and them or the this could be somebody who maybe lives at a distance, somebody who is at a distance. But I see here that, um, excuse me, I feel a hair here. Um, I can see that, you know, in this relationship, it may have been that things were not as they seem here. So maybe somebody was presenting something some kind of way and that's not really what was happening. Or you could have been presenting something some kind of way. And maybe that's not what was actually happening. But I do see that, you know, something was not as a seem here. And that may have caused you to release the situation or there may have been a releasing of this relationship and on the other side of this it looks like it could be because of some unrequited love here let me go ahead and tell you the players that I have in this situation you know my roster so we know who we're dealing with again I see a third party situation I see here somebody that you really care for I also see some soulmate energy and I do see a lot of karmic energy here a karmic partner I see here a female who may have matured through this situation and a male. For some of you, this could be a younger male. Um, maybe some of you are dealing with two individuals. And again, I have something here about a younger male. So let's go ahead and, and go back into what I'm seeing here leading up to this situation. So again, I'm seeing here that there could have been some unrequited love that negatively affected the situation. So if you are, um, let's see, a female. Some of you could just be a young female with a younger male. Some of you could be an older female with a younger male. But of course, this is a general reading. So, you know, let's not get caught up on the genders here. Nevertheless, I see here, you know, you could have been a, a, a female or you could have been dealing with this female and there was some unrequited love in this situation. You may have had a conversation about that or a conversation about the challenges in your relationship. And this may have, uh, 
this conversation may have caused some challenge challenges so for some of you you had a conversation with this person in the past about the challenges maybe about this unrequited love or this sense of unrequited love or things not being as they seem here or again you could have had some conversations that led to some challenges but i do see that many of you have been thinking about you know what you want in your relationship because some of you could either be thinking about you know becoming involved or wanting moving toward a good connection and your ideal love situation for others of you this person could be your ideal love so that's what i have here regarding the background again i see that some of you right now could be dealing with some uh karmic energy here soulmate energy here so that's what I have here regarding this situation. I do see here that many of you are in a situation where uh, your true love, or you may still have strong feelings towards a past love. And again, I do see here some conversations, some news, some messages that may have been received in the past about somebody playing games. Maybe somebody was dishonest or deceptive here. Or maybe somebody was keeping secrets. And for some of you, it could be this third-party situation. Moving forward, I do see some positive outcomes here. Or a positive outcome. And looking over this entire spread, I do see why you will be letting go of this anxiety here. So, my lovely, lovely uh, Taurus, I'm sorry, not Taurus, my lovely Libras, my Libras, my scale friends. Uh, if you would like to know all the information that I have in front of me, again, I have here three five-part mm -hmm. predictions and your extended prediction. Oh, I just got a message saying, shower in the divine light of love that God continuously sends to you so let me say that again shower in the divine light of love that god continuously sends to you beautiful all righty so again i have here all your predictions and your extended guidance so we can figure out how to bring about the best outcome in this situation because it's all about free will here um if you would like to you know receive all these messages and your guidance you can go ahead and view the extended version of this video on vimeo and that's going to be approximately an hour long also i would like to tell you guys that i do have a new facebook so you can go ahead and find me on facebook power life hypnosis i will be putting up some weekly messages and things like that so thank you so much for watching this preview again you can check out the full version of your reading on vimeo and the link will be at the top of the description box below much love to you much light to you if you would like to book a private reading with me you can do so at my website powerlifehypnosis.com of course make sure to check out your monthly reading as well so again love and light um thank you again and i will see you guys on the other side of this preview on vimeo bye libras